Now this morning I want to speak about, um, I want to speak to, to the pastors, the ministers of the gospel in this nation of Kenya. I have, um, I have watched carefully what the ministers of the gospel are saying and I've come to admit that fear, <laughs> fear is the worst enemy for everyone. I have seen ministers of the gospel coming to the open to say that they never received any money from William Ruto <laughs> when I saw them receive money. <laughs> it is no time to try to exonerate ourselves. It is time to speak the truth. People are saying that they have never... Of course, this church has never done a fundraising that requires money from the president or anybody. But that, that's, that does not mean that we have never received any money. Even if you received 10,000 for fuel, you received money. Coming to the open, we have never received that money. You received money. Do not be afraid because fear can make you lie. I don't believe in lying. If I did a mistake, I say I did a mistake. I don't have to lie to exonerate myself to appear a good man. In the book of Matthew chapter 26, Verse 69. Matthew 26, beginning from verse 69. The Bible, and I'm, not, I'm talking to the ministers of the gospel in this nation of Kenya. Simply because some of them know that nobody took a photo when they were receiving money. <laughs> they are trying to say they never received money. Please, uh, ministers of the gospel, let, let's be honest. It is uh, what, what the young people are asking. They are not saying that people should not receive money. They are asking us to behave and to be accountable. I think that is what the young generation is asking of us. They are not killing us. They are wondering why we can't behave. That's all. And, and that, that, is, that is not a call for us to begin lying on TV and begin exonerating ourselves that we have never received any money. Young people want us to behave and to be honest. That's what we should promise our young generation, that it is not going to be business as usual. People make mistakes, we are all human. But you do not have to dwell in making a mistake. A time comes when you are, a call is made for, you, for, you, for us to change. Now, can we go to Matthew chapter 26 and verse 69, 70 up to 72. And the Bible says this, Now Peter was sitting out in the courtyard. And a servant guard came to him. You also were with Jesus of God, she said. And verse 7, but he denied it before them all. I don't know what you are talking about, he said. Verse 71. Then he went out to the gateway where another guard saw him and said to the people there, This fellow was with Jesus of Nazareth. Verse 72. He denied it again with an oath. I don't know the man, I swear. <laughs> After a little while, those standing there went up to Peter and said, Surely you are one of them, for your accent gives you away. Then he began to call down curses on himself, and he swore to them, I don't know the man. Ministers of the gospel, it is no time for us to say we don't know William Ruto. How, how does a minister of the gospel, where the president attended service for an entire day, come up and say he has never received money? What did the president give us offering? Did he give Bibles? Why should members of, 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 of why should ministers of the gospel begin lying in fear? Why can't we tell the president a time has come for you to make serious adjustment to save the country? That's all. Why should you say, I don't know him? How? How? When did you stop knowing him? The president has not become bad. He has wrong advisors. I have spoken severally. He has wrong advisors. And he has not become sensitive to reality. It's high time he wakes up to reality. Let's not abandon 
the president because there is a crisis. Let's not abandon our nation. It's not a time where churches should be divided. Um, those that supported and those that never supported. It's a time that we have to come together and support one another. Support our nation. We don't have two countries. And all, regardless of your age, you will stay in this country. And if we come together, we will make sure that our country becomes better. Even our counties. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you afraid also? Do you know that man? Yes. <laughs> you know the man? Yes. Are you going to say like Peter, I swear, and you are calling curses down. I don't know about him. <laughs> man of God, you know the president. You know the president. When your child becomes a drunkard, he doesn't become a child of a neighbor. If you prayed the president into power, let's pray for the country during his presidents. That means the manual to run the government is in prayer. And genuine prayer. <laughs> I have... I have had a very difficult week to try and understand the ministers of the gospel and how quick they can detract. Simply because the young people said, after we finish greeting the president, we will come to greet the church. You think these young people are crazy? You think they don't know what they are doing? They know what they are doing. They know what they are saying. You think they don't fear God? The young people fear God. I have an inner conviction. I don't have to think from outside. I know they love God. I know they fear God. But they can't understand how those of us who stand in for Jesus can mislead the nation. But my, my problem is how quick the pastors have retracted. Every one of them saying, I have never received money. I have never received money. And that is not being honest. That's not being honest. I know even where the president is, he's really surprised. He's wondering. Because he knows those people and he knows how much money he sent to them. I saw even a very big man of God, leave alone these young boys, a very big man of God, trying to say he has never received money. How do you lie when the records are there? If it's time to repent, repent. If it's time to apologize, apologize. You don't have to run away from reality. 